there's actually several versions of this overlay. I think that's probably the biggest one. Um, so, so if you're on like a huge monitor, it would display it that way. Um, and if you're on kind of a standard monitor, that's kind of the standard look. And then I think there's four or five different steps for that component. Maybe six, I don't know. Anyway, um, and then for mobile, what I did is like the, the standard kind of Squarespace slideshow concept is to um, continue like even down to, to, to like the smallest um, width. It would it would kind of hold this height, but um, it always looks bad to me. So, so what I try to do is, in, in this case, what I did is I zoomed in on the actual slide and made, made the slide taller. Um, so this is like 640 wide at this point. And I also popped that overlay below um, so that when you're on a mobile device, um, see if I can do something here. Yeah, I can make it a little smaller. Psych. Well, um, there we go. So yeah, when this this is like the the the, the mobile concept. So on Squarespace, you you can actually set that that where that focal point is. So so, so I basically put the focal point in between this girl's eyes, and then when you're on mobile, it it keeps that that area kind of always in focus. So that's how I how I solved it here is is just by by separating the overlay from the actual slide show kind of image thing, and then every other page also has um, its own photo as well, which they're a little they're a little harder because they actually had more text because um, that that the home page version of that is um, you know it's like an image so. Um, so, 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 so it is a little different on these. I mean, we, we, we could adjust contrast on those kind of background um, kind of concepts, but um, but for the most part, that's that's what I did here. I'll, you know, just wanted to let you know. Thanks.